Welcome to Tony's Brick House. In this video, I've got a Star Wars set. This is one of the 20 years of Star Wars. Okay, this is the, pretty sure this is the cheapest one of the sets. To me, it's not bad. The Imperial Dropship 20th Anniversary Edition, set number 75262, ages six plus. I've heard people complain about this set. So, well, let's take a look at the box first. So we've got our drop ship, which I'm pretty sure nothing like this actually existed in the Star Wars movies. Now I've wa not watched all the TV shows, the cartoons, all that stuff. Some I've seen, most I haven't. So I'm not gonna say that there's not something like this in one of those. I just haven't seen it. So here we have our 20th or 20 year Han Solo. We'll get to him in just a minute. So what's our box got in it? So we've got four stormtroopers. We've got the dropship build. And we've got the Han Solo. So to me, that's five minifigs for the price. I really don't feel that that's bad. And I apologize, you're gonna hear a couple extra pieces rattling around in there. I've kind of started getting some small Ziploc bags, which I haven't put those in yet. And I keep my spare pieces in the box. That way I know if I lose one from a set where I can go to get the spare part and not dig through the endless bins that I have. So box aside, here we've got our instruction manual. Lego always has pretty good instructions. Of course, I'm pretty sure that the uh, instructions for any kit that LEGO has ever done can be found online. Pretty sure uh, Shop LEGO, there's a place for instructions. So here's a couple of pictures. Here's kind of the builds going together. Here is some minifigs. So that one definitely kind of interests me. So anyway, let's get on to our drop ship. So we've got a stormtrooper flying the drop ship. We have three stormtroopers in the back. I have their guns in their hands. So the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna throw it down. No, it would land somewhere this would raise up, therefore unlocking the drop portion, scoot out, and take off. Or maybe if these poor guys are just really unlucky, they get kind of close to the ground, flip those up, and off you go. Don't know exactly how they would do it. So... This is a sticker piece. Don't know how well you can see it. Of course, we have a sticker piece up top. Fairly simple build. Your, I guess, latch. It works really well for what it is. transport area for our stormtroopers sticker on each side nice well a couple of nice skid plates on the bottom which really is not going to do a lot of good because they're higher than this cross piece but anyway So our pilot, now I know a lot of people complain about these stud shooters. Who cares if you're going to use these, you know, in one of your scenes or something, then just remove the stud shooter, you know. You can pick up uh, blasters pretty cheap on BrickLink. You know, sometimes if I'm ordering something from a store and I notice they've got a bunch, I'll order 30 or 40 just, you know, just to do it. So, decent printing on the front. We've got our normal 
ang angry clone face on the bottom. No alternate face, really don't need it. So looks like a regular, to me, Stormtrooper printing, just in uh, silver or maybe gray on the black body. So looks pretty good. The rest of our stormtroopers all seem to be the same. So I'm not going to show you each and every one of them. But again, to me, identical looking printing. There's the front, the back, and of course, as always, the angry clone. And our Han Solo minifig. Got this nice 20 years. Lego Star Wars 1999 through 2019. The back is the 20 years on the back of the torso. That does not bother me a bit. A lot of people complain about it. If you're going to use these in one of your sets, you know, again, if you're building a scene, Pretend it's not there. I think it's pretty cool to have. Of course, no alternate face. I do plan on eventually getting, I believe it's all five of these that were released. My only real complaint with it is I hope they put out a few more because I would like to see Chewbacca. I would like to see R2, 3CPO, and, you know, maybe a couple of... Uh, others Admiral Akbar I don't know a couple ideas maybe an anniversary edition of Boba Fett so for me this set was definitely worth the money there are a couple of these sets that I'm probably not gonna pick up I'm just gonna wait order the minifigs off of Bricklink So at some point in time, I do plan on doing a video with all the 20th anniversary minifigs together. They link together pretty good the way this is built. So put those back on there. That way they can head off to their next mission. So to me, this was worth the money. You know, as always, let me know. Did you pick this one up? Do you like it? Do you care? You know, what would you like to see else in the line? Are you like me? You're hoping for an R2 and 3CPO and a, uh, I'm sorry, C3PO and, you know, maybe a Chewbacca. Anyway, as always, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I do another video, and I hope everybody has a great day.